agenda is not to push anybody. Because in truth, there is nothing to push. In real truth, there is nothing to teach. It is the mind that believes it needs the knowledge. But your hearts and your souls, dear ones, already know all there is to know. And all there is to know is that you are love. At your core, you are love. And anything outside of that is simply an experience you have decided to have. Now we, as a group consciousness, we overlook this dimension, this magnetic force field you call the third plane of existence. Because understand, everything in this dimension is magnetic. You are either attracting something to you or you are repelling something to you. There is nothing else really going on. Some of you put yourselves into what we would term a neutral state. And believe it or not, that is what you call your depression. <clears throat> depression, in fact, if you look at it from a magnetic viewpoint, is not wishing to receive anything and not wishing to give anything. Think about that. Because many here have experienced depression. And when you get into emotional exhaustion, there is no energy to give, and there is not even any energy to receive. So now you have a planet, particularly in your Western world, that is filled with depression. Because the emotional charge within the body has become overwhelming. So all the circuits stop. All the magnets stop. And in the depression you find yourself in some form of limbo. Not being able to get yourself out of this space. Of not receiving and not giving. And the mind has convinced many of you that this is the safer option upon this plane of consciousness, is not to give and not to receive because you will only be hurt. Well, we can tell you, dear ones, you are being more hurt by being in a neutral position than you are rolling around the floor in tears. Because you are here to feel you are here to feel the depth of love and you are also here because you are such brave incredible souls you are also here to feel loveless because how can you truly know what love is if you do not know what lovelessness is and yes lovelessness is not a word in your language but perhaps it could be now I am a Treya and I do not wish for any accolades. I do not wish for any pedestals. And this unfortunately has what has happened within your spiritual communities. You have put some of us that are no different to yourselves at the core of your being because understand we are all love. Unfortunately, in your spiritual communities, you have decided to put some of us upon pedestals. You have decided to call some of us ascended masters. Now, this is something that has actually caused great damage within your spiritual communities. Because as human beings, firstly, you have been programmed to believe that you are less than us. Secondly, you have been programmed that you have to work very hard to obtain anything. And thirdly, it keeps us from you. And worse, it keeps you from us. Because understand, as a group collective consciousness, which is us and is also you, we are all on a wave of expression. We are all riding the same wave of consciousness. Because how could we be in your awareness unless we were an aspect of you? 
Do you truly understand what we are saying here? We could not magnetically bring ourselves into this realm unless there were aspects of our consciousness that were in alignment with yours and yours with ours. So if there was anything we wish to teach you or ask you more to remember is that we are all one.